smoke you are seeing from the building is as a result of the terrorists putting, uh, setting some mattress on fire to distract our action. I am aware that uh, indications are that the building have been blown off, but nothing could be further from the truth. We want to assure Kenyans that our, uh, our forces are in full control of this situation, and we are certain in no time that the fire will be put off. Uh, the process of evacuating hostages have gone on very well. And we are very certain that if any, there are very, very little hostages in the building. We have done search of the building and we can confirm that uh, the hostages, almost all of them have been evacuated. Even from the data we had previously from relatives and families, that number has come down substantively. I want to confirm that uh, so far uh, uh, 62 deaths have been conf uh, confirmed. I know from other sources other than government we had some different figures, but we confirm that that is uh, the correct position. We also want to emphasize uh, to say that people should desist from giving misleading information because we are receiving a lot of SMSs that we are certifying is not correct information. So the information you should give to our security forces must be accurate. We discourage and we have the system to identify uh, those who are giving false information and that must stop henceforth. Unfortunately, uh, some con men have come about to also take advantage of the situation by saying send uh, money to some helplines or to some SMS numbers and we want also to advise Kenyans not to do that except for the officially given uh, helpline which was given by Safaricom and Airtel no other number is acceptable we have uh, heightened security in all our uh, ports of entry and exit in the airports and seaports and our borders and therefore uh, we want to say that the country is secure. I quickly hasten to say that the information we are giving has been fully approved by His Excellency the President as he is fully in control of the situation. We encourage Kenyans to remain calm and vigilant but carry on with their own businesses with caution but there is no reason for alarm because as i said earlier our gallant forces are in control our resolve to defend our country has never been higher and we want to say that we will take the war to the criminals doorsteps this is our country we are in control of the security situation and Kenyans should be, should take comfort that the country is in our hands. We do not want panic messages arising out of misleading information that the criminals have blown off the building. We continue to convey our sympathies and condolences to the families of the, uh, of the dead and we will stand by them in every way. We also want to confirm that uh, we have uh, identified and killed two criminals, terrorists. two terrorists. Two terrorists have been confirmed dead out of our activities this morning and several injured, but we'll give you final details on that going forward. I think that is the current position and we just want to confirm that we are in charge of the situation. Our people are safe. Hostages have been uh, evacuated and we do not think 
we do not think from our analysis and such of the building there are still there will be very very minimal if any in the building so i think that is a position as that now we want to uh, request you to allow us uh, to go back and do our work so that the process continues we emphasize that uh, our points of entry and exits are uh, on high alert and we want to encourage Kenya to be vigilant and observant in those points to make sure that uh, criminals do not slip in or terrorists do not slip in or slip out of the country but let us remain calm our forces are in full control of this situation. We thank you very much. Uh, the, the position of the fire is in the uh, Nakumar stores. And we said the fire was uh, put on by the terrorists to try and distract our activities. But I also hasten to confirm that the fire will be put off shortly so the fire is the activity we will uh, have it off but the building is solid and our people who are taking the operation are safe we said yesterday that uh, uh, unconfirmed information has it that the, the, the terrorists could be between 10 and 15 we do not want to delve into the gender issue for now. There are, there, are, there are no women, actually. It is very clear that it's only men. Some men had dressed like uh, women to mislead the situation, but all the terrorists are male. No, we have any, nothing to confirm about the explosive except the necessary uh, things we are using to smoke them out. I want to say that uh, the process is taking a little longer because we want to make sure that uh, our people, both uh, the security forces and hostages, if any, in the building are safely uh, protected. And therefore, we don't want to give you a definitive position on when we think the process will come to an end. But we are doing anything reasonably possible, cautiously though, to bring this process to an end. In control of all the flaws. We are in control of all the flaws. The flaws and this is important. Our forces are in control of all the flaws. The terrorists could be uh, running and hiding in some store somewhere or something, but all flaws now are under our control. I also confirm that we, fully, we have fully cordoned the building so that there is no room for escapees. No, I am giving those information as the correct position that we are in charge of the flaws and uh, uh, we think the operation will come to an end soon. Our people. Uh, about 10 of our forces have been injured and are receiving treatment. No, we are not aware of any uh, lost uh, security forces, but uh, we can confirm that uh, 10 are injured and are receiving treatment. We are unable to confirm uh, uh, the number of hostages, if any, inside. But this is why we say that please desist from giving misleading information because we have been receiving information that go to this store, go to this corner because we are 10 people there, and that has been largely untrue. I also say that uh, from uh, uh, Kenyans and the list we had previously of missing persons, that list have reduced drastically. And therefore, we think we have successfully evacuated a lot of people. We have also confirmed from hospitals 
that from the list we gave yesterday of people who went for treatment 175 very many below 50 are now uh, receiving treatment how many we had said yesterday that the operation is our national security operation the various security agencies of the country uh, the kenya defense forces national police service and the national intelligence service those are the people involved in this operation we have however received a lot of goodwill support from our friends various countries as you have reported but so far we are managing the situation ourselves we are grateful to their support and will indicate what help we'll need if any i i think now we want to call it a, a day for this brief <laughs> and uh, that should suffice for now uh, please understand that uh, the men before you are the men who are coordinating the operations